Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. No need. <laughs> Just the extra kick. That was personal, that one was. <laughs> Wait. Hello, hello. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get right back into it. Now. We just finished that little game we played in the last episode. I'm not a big fan of that game, I can't lie. Well, we'll do it. Uh, we did finish that challenge. So let's go retrieve the rewards, I guess. I would say. Flight test. We're starting to narrow down the side quest a bit. Look, we did a massive backlog. I will say that. We're starting to narrow it down. I've still got like, treasure map. I'm sure it has something to do with that. I haven't really properly looked at it. We might do that at some point. Maybe this episode, who knows? Either way. Let's go report back. What was that? Alright. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. There you go. Uh, that's our way around? Yes, there is. What's up? Hogwarts words, headmaster. Think of the students. <laughs> Rebellion, I don't think he's too bad so far. Because I oh, fucking banned Quidditch. To report, I hope. Of course. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Did it? Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt down, your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't I appreciate the sense it. of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to, to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Very well. Look hmm. forward to hmm. Now, in the last episode, I said we'd go check out this. So we're gonna go check out all of this light. How was going on? Sounds like a fireworks about to go off. Frog spawn serve. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash for that particular bar of soap. One submerged in water, a cohort of wiggling tadpoles hatches right out of the sub. <laughs> It is fireworks. Now, what do we have there? That's awesome. Let's have a look upstairs. Just 
don't go in cheese. What have I done? What's that? <laughs> Wasn't me. Revelio. Dung bomb. My favorite one, prank is the one where it produces a foul that calls anyone in the vicinity to evacuate. Post safe. You don't run post safe. Oh no! Well, I didn't react. I have a bad feeling if I press it again, it's gonna set up where I'm at. What's up? Jesus Christ. Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. As far as it come out. And then come and see me. They just don't seem to care. Very well. Well, I created a bit of chaos, so I got alive. I'm happy with that. <laughs> right. Uh, we've done everything for that. Can't do that yet, I don't think. I want to do some of these, but I just don't know where to begin. We'll just go to that. I and mean, we can do that one as well. Alright, so let's go report back. Hogwarts. Where am I going? Yep. Uh, let's see that one. Of light job light. Professor Sharp is so intimidating. The what? How are your assignments coming along? Uh, pretty well. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. I can do many things already. Bam, 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 the pulso. Got something for me to practice on? Practice? And I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I could just have to build the enchanted books here. Alright, 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 no about that. It's all about the flick on the list. There's that one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, every time. Oh, I know where this. I need to find it. Oh. Hello? That was a, um. It was like a pressure plate on the uh, finger midrick of the painter. I reckon if I can, um, wait, so this is going Brilliant. yeah, I reckon if I go over to that, use the pulse on that, I reckon it'll push the pressure plate and we can get whatever it is. God damn it. 
Rebellion. Everything's always locked. I'm curious to see if the vanishing trial works or not. One day, one day, I will do these. Where the hell do I even go? Oh. Hello, 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 hello. What do we have it? Where have you gone? They really shouldn't allow. God damn it, once we get back over here. Alright. Three, two, one. Now go. Now go. Now go. Now go. Got you. Lovely job, boy. Curse and a white cat. It's over here. So that's why I can light up over there. It is. Incendio. Really mastered that one, haven't you? Yeah. Jesus, that's bright. My eyes! Whoa, 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 chill, 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 no need. <laughs> Just the extra kick, that was personal, that one was. <laughs> Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Give me a sec. Did not have repair equipped. I'm gonna screw them. Repair. Ah, that's a shame. Fine. I don't know where I need it to go. Like I know what I'm thinking of, but I don't know where it is. Place is a bloody maze. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Alright, screw it, we'll just do something else. I'll remember it next time we've come across it. That's for certain. I thought we gotta go to this. Transfiguration's far too difficult for me. Huh. Oh, away we go. Hello? What was that? Hang on. Did I see a symbol, huh? I did. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Beast classroom. I'm most pleased to be included. Ooh. I have lots soon. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn to find the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. These balloons are everywhere. How far have I got to go? Surely not. Am I blind? Did I go past it? Well, that's that one. Yeah, yeah. But where's the other one? I'm 
I'll just go to this one. I get off my room now, I'm going to die. Is that Merlin's trial? It is. Do I have what I can? I don't know. I don't think I do. Do I have what I need? Jesus Christ, it just keeps going. I know what that means. Merlin trial. I feel like this is gonna be like a love you so. Why are you why are you aiming? Incendio. destroy the rods. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought it was Levio, so I thought it went. I don't think we should go down there yet, but I think. Oh, can I dismount while I'm there and then. like, remount? Travel broadens the mind. What's going on for? I need to fight. What was it I need to do for the um finger midrick? Oh god damn it, no, I'm not doing that yet. Do I even have that? I need that. Yeah, but I do have that. I won't rest until you're dead. Not quiet enough. <laughs> I will do that. Thank you very much. Yes. Take that. Oh. Oh, I should use Flipendo on that. No, no. Yeah. What do we have here? Well, you guys went there a moment ago. Oh, screw it. You can die. Oh, no. Oh, 
Why, you motherfucker? Oh, I keep forgetting when I see the wrong one. Fuck. What deal is this? Is that all you got? Bring it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so I need to get mandrakes. anytime soon so let's just we're working on that working on that as well but well, I can do that really quick can't I where have I gotta go yeah I can do that yeah I'm going to keen bridge anyway That's we get, uh, yeah, we just get the fuck out away from that. Nope. No, nope, 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 nope. I should still have the invisible expression, so like, oh, she gave me them. It's gone far. It's like a place right out of a storybook. It's cool though. Oh, What's I did like? get oh, held off to another stuff. Surprise. Always leave that pippin. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. Oh, you could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems Very simple well. enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Such a lovely person. He mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If Aww. I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. Probably you gonna do face? that. Hmm? 
Oh, thanks for wasting my time, I suppose. What are we looking for today? I can sell that. This will do just fine. Uh, I can't. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Well done, yeah, I'm gonna be talking to you in a minute. Let me just sell this. That's actually quite nice. I'll keep that equipped. All that appearance. Challenges! What do we have here? We have bam. Bam 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 bam. I think that's everything. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? I'd like to ask you a few things if you don't mind. What would you like to know? Everything. Oh Jesus Christ. Would you mind telling me a little about Keenbridge? You've likely heard talk of the thieving troll that unfortunately settled in the area. Been terrorizing people, robs all who pass by. So you'd be wise to remain vigilant whilst traveling near Keenbridge. You would not want to come face to horrid face with that monstrous thing. I say that, but I could probably handle it. How did you come to live here in Keenbridge? I've only been here a few years. Used to sell my wares as I traveled. It was an exhausting life, but I never minded it. One day, my travels brought me through Cambridge. I fell in love. Though my travels continued, my heart remained here. So I eventually returned and opened this shop. Been here ever since. I shall live out my days here in Cambridge if I have any say in it, which I suppose I do. Yeah, but you're stealing business from Pippin. What sorts of things do you sell? Potions. I brew each one myself, using only the finest ingredients. I assure you, you won't find their equal anywhere, even in Hogsmeade. What do you have to say? Let me sell this. What are we looking for today? Nothing, I'm selling. I need money. Thank you for stopping in. Relaton to Pali. Pali Pippin. Papa da papa. Yes. I know that. Is it this one? Yeah. Cambridge Tower. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I did. These rocks have seen better days. I feel like I missed the first one to start with just because I didn't see it. <laughs> yep. Must have done. I see butterflies on the map. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I suppose I head back. I think it's about time. Exploring quite a bit though. Well, we're getting about now. So we like to see Jesus Christ. So that's where we gotta go. Alright, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Hogsmeade. Oh wait, no, you're Hogwarts. Quaka. Oh yeah, yep. I do need to go talk to me though. I need to see Pippin. Alright, let's see what Kogawa. Kalga. What she wants. Welcome back. There you go. Have you finished your assignment? Yep. Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. 
shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say, and you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Bam. 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 I'm kind of worried I fucked up that Merlin's trial. Whatever he says. That's my eye, yep. Yeah. Okay, that could be useful. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Yeah, Perhaps man. before you leave here. Nope. Sorry, but nope. That's cool. All four houses. Wait, it's actually all four. Yeah, actually, it's that's cool. <laughs> I really ought to explore more. I really do. There's a but. There's just too much to do. I just never know where to begin. Like, you start doing one thing, you get distracted, do another thing, <laughs> so on and so on. Yep. Hogsmeade, here I come. I don't even need to assign the quest. I know where I'm going. I hope. Yeah, it's this one. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. She's a bit of a bitch towards and, uh, you. Did she cause you any trouble? Not really. Just with you. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And, at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Mm. Hey, promoted! Blah, blah, blah. What's going on here? Oh, is that money for me? I will take that. 13 gold, just like that. Fancy leaving that on the side. <sighs> right, what do we do next? Got bam, bam. Don't want to be each right now. I suppose we go do this. That threw me off because I thought by the tower they were on about that tower, but I guess over here? Which I thought I knew what they were on about, but I suppose not. I want to go on foot because I'm a bean. So we'll go on adventure. Rebellion. What a beer barrel. This is barrel's container. Probably was in What a beer. This is both cold and hot, there's a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact the households so much more than humans. Okay. Don't know why I read it like that, but we'll take that. Ah, it was there, whatever I saw. Ooh, Jesus, I will take that, certainly. How'd I get into this one? It's gonna give me 45, I will do that. Sheesh! Am 
magical mail. These trees in the post office mostly saw various bullets of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 hours, color coded based on how quickly a particular light or parcel needs to be delivered. Meh. Should've been 201 hours. Do I get uh, no, it's gonna come back around, surely. It's just going around the back house, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also. Wrong spell. Fuck, every time. Revelio. Oh, I just saw that right at the end. Oh, there's another one over there. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Rebellion. I see you sneaking around. Oh, it's going to adventure. What was that? Uh, it's a watermill. Never mind. Right. I would go on the broom, but I feel like we need to go on foot. Can't. At least until we've been everywhere. I've had in years. No, I mean it. I don't think I should have over here. No! Oh, that was easy. Your blood's on Ramrock's hands. Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. What's going on here? Ancient magic. I don't know how I get in there. Well, I might have a way. I can't just jump down, can I? Rebellion. Okay. Unlocking stuff, I have no idea what. Oh, don't give me a push. I was gonna say, if I could have literally just done that, I'd be annoyed. Oh, oh come on! Really? We aren't doing it yet, though. Rebellion. We done? Surely not. I thought that was when I got a real. <laughs> there was a bag of gold up there, I remember. Who lived here, I wonder? What's that? Rebellion. Oh. Well, let's carry on moving. <laughs> Gotta explore a little bit every now and then. If there's a flue right here, I will go to it. It's tempting. Very tempting. Now we'll go to the next one.
this on the chomping cabbage. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Someone's here. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep chucking shit at you. <laughs> just too late for you to learn the error of your ways. This is like there's another end in supply. I'll just keep chucking them on. Right, so there's another Merlin's trial, but I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'll we'll avoid it. Oh, actually, no, I'll scout it out. No, I'm having a look. But I bet I can't do whatever it requires me today. Could it be a Merlin trial? Yes. It's just gonna be light up the candles. Incendio. Evidently not. <laughs> Revelio. No, it's that. Incendio. Get one moment. Let me just, you know, change this power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. Revelio. Confringo. Oh, so there's one up there. There we go. Let's try that. I should have probably gave it more effort. The ones by the rocks. I should have done something. I first I thought it would have been like Love Yourself with the rocks. Or like destroying the rocks. I don't know if I fucked that or not. We'll find out. There you go. I will take that. Yoink. Rebellion. What do we have down there? Just more moves down. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm taking a detour. You know, oh, we're so close to that scrap. We are literally right next to that. Nice to see you, my young friend. What the hell's going on here? What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Have one. Safe? Careful? Uh, yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. I'll come back on invisibility. Let's go back to where we were. Yeah, this is the road we want to be on. Right, we're back on foot around here. Right, now where was I? Ah, yes. Back on an adventure. Oh, going. Nice little village. What the hell is that symbol? This is one of those portals. Uh, a few witches of wizard currently trace the history of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to the rightful source. The 15th century dog was known as Inun Blackwood. Born in Inun uh, into an unmagical branch of the Wood family, Inun was misunderstood by his muggle parents and in an effort to fit in, sought solace in the family trade, head trimming. 
He could largely control the black form bushes with his mind, creating beautiful designs with ease. He was both impressed and furious, his rather intolerant family. That's a shame. The resentment only worsened upon young Lorman's. Invitation to Hogwarts, where he was sold into Hufflepuff House. It was a Hogwarts that another first met one, Artisan of Black, disowned by the Black family for a mother's delight. For that, I can't talk. I need a drink, well, bear with me. Alright, where was I? Nah. For a mother's delight, with uh, Artemis, Michael Father, the Half Blood of. Fuck, I can't really pronounce these machines. Relationship of blood purity was a complex one. She considered herself worthy of her mother's maiden name. I can blame her father for the ostracization. I can't say that shit. I don't care. At the same time, she did not fault Wood for his muggle percent parentage, but rather considered him too unwilling to innocent victim of muggle impurity. Yep, blah 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 blah. Oh, I'm doing too much reading. There's so much lore. Let's get into my. Oh no. I see the more symbols. Oh no. Wonder who lives here. Revelio. Oh, thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rook would appearance. Oh. Dorothy Sprottle. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Well, I mean, oh, I still on he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. I'll see what I can do. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Not bad for I probably will speak to Claire if this is Claire. But the horse field is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. What is this? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardo dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungles. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. <sighs> the Feed moment he skull. left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. 
I won't go near them. Hmm. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. Uh, He's so gone to seek Victor Oakwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury. Always. That's fine. I'll Please kill them all. Cautious. I'm about to kill them. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Was that me? It's green to her, so was that me talking to her? Yeah. Might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. No. But then one day, he didn't come home. I swear to God, I've had to find him. This could, could be an awful conversation. No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. This that is kind of awkward, these two conversations are like, two different dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Mm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I yeah, see Yeah, we're gonna go find them. Him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Let's have a quick look at my gear. I have an unidentified identified so it's definitely gloves on. worse well unfortunately i think that's all the time we have for this episode make sure to like and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next episode Bye bye